Hi everyone, it's Stefan Abov, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the third and final part of my Cruisers tutorial which will be about map awareness, one of the most critical skills to master if you want to do well with Cruisers. And map awareness starts from looking at their team, so see trap 1 team composition. The two destroyers DD1 and 2 are the targets we will be prioritizing along with their light cruiser. Uh, that's a Duca Deosta, something we can pen very easily. We need to be careful about their heavy cruiser, the Trento. We do not want to be engaging that ship on our own. And we especially want to stay clear from the two battleships, especially the Fuso, because the Fuso can take half of our hit points in one salvo. And final prize, the CV, this is the target we'll be looking for throughout the game if we can manage to reach it, of course. So the game starts, the two battleships and the CV are positioned at the center, we are positioned on the right part of the map with another heavy cruiser, the Trento, from our fleet mates, and our destroyer and the light cruiser are positioned towards A, so we will be heading towards C, we assume that the team positioning is the same on the enemy team. And especially we see that the CV has launched their fighter, so we already have an indication on where their CV is positioned at the very moment. And we're going to go towards C with our friend to see what is waiting for us there. So the only thing you need to do to master map awareness is simply stop and think. At several times during the battle, every time something significant happens, you just need to stop, pause for a second and think about what you're going to do next. Let's do that right now. And when every time you stop and think to have a look at the minimap, you will be asking yourselves four questions to master map awareness. The first one is... Who can support me? That's quite easy, that is the other cruiser who went with us at sea, our fleet mate. The rest of the team unfortunately is not going to be useful, the part of, one of, part of the team is capping A and the two battleships are completely useless still camping their base. Where are the threats? We've identified one battleship going to B, we don't know if it's the Fuso and we assume that the other one is also going to A or B because otherwise if he was going to C we would have spotted him right now. So for the moment we're pretty safe because the first target is the Trento, that's a dangerous target for us but we are two versus one so we're going to be dispatching him quite easily. And where are my next targets to plan your next move? And here that's probably going to be the destroyer already capped. B, he could be going to A to attack the battleships or to C, let's assume that he's going to C and there is of course the enemy CV which is somewhere behind the battleships. Let's see how that unfolds. So here we are back to the game, uh, 2 versus 1, 2 cruisers versus 1 Trento, it's going to go really really fast, he's shooting his torpedoes at my fleet mate which means I can engage him up close very very comfortably. I'm shooting my torpedo a little bit ahead of him because I know that he's going to turn and I want him to turn uh, so he cannot actually hit anything with his guns, he's only got half of his guns available right now. He hides himself into smoke but smoke does not last forever unfortunately for him, there we go, he appears again and he's going to go down quite easily and his friend Didi who went capping B will not be able to help him so that's what happens when you go anywhere alone on the map in a cruiser you go back to port a little bit earlier than expected and that will be our first kill of the game and right after that we will stop to think let's do that so we stop and think to look at the minimap and we start c trap number 3 with the first question who can support me, that's my cruiser who's still next to me in a position to help. The two threats, the battleships are actually moving towards A so they are not dangerous anymore for me, that's very good. My first target is now uh, the destroyer who went from B to C, did the very stupid thing which is attacking two cruisers alone. And my next target, I see that uh, another cruiser is moving in my direction, probably to protect the CV who I assume will be moving towards A or at least away from me. Uh, let's see how that unfolds. And there you go, as predicted, not a very clever move, charging two cruisers in a destroyer, it will probably be down in one or two salvos, that's number one, seven hits and he's already gone, bye bye, and I can immediately start focusing on the next target because the cruiser just appeared in front of me and I will start orientating my guns and my ship towards him, so I'm going to fire at the destroyer at B just to have some fun and I'm going to position myself for the next fight and it's going to pay off as you will see, there we go, that's the other Duke d'Aosta. 
and I'm able to engage him immediately because I position myself and when I look at him his guns are actually absolutely not turned towards me so that's something that you will not and cannot do uh, not prepare for your next fight so those couple of seconds that it takes him to turn his gun allow me to use my DPM to take half of his life and I'm going to be finishing him quite easily but I'm immediately going to focus on the next engagement so let's stop and think a little and there goes our final sit rep of the game. So let's stop and think for a minute. Who can support me? No one. Uh, my fleet mate went to B while I was chasing the cruiser. I lost sight of him, but that's not bad because I can take on the Aosta all alone. You've seen that I've already uh, engaged him uh, to my advantage because I knew that it would be my next target. Where are the threats? The battleship. One of them is down. The other one is still going towards A. Not a threat to me. My first target is the Aosta. We've already started engaging him. And the most important thing, my next target is the CV. I just saw the torpedoes squadron taking off and I'm going to engage him as soon as I'm done with the Aosta. I'm actually going to anticipate before I'm done with the Aosta to make sure that I am in a position to attack the CV immediately because he's within gun range. So let's do that right now. So here we are, a couple of more shots and then we start turning to be facing the CV. Going to take a couple of torpedoes and a couple of hits from the Aosta, but that's all right. I started the engagement with my full health and uh, I've lost half of it but that's okay. The Aosta is going to go down and as we speak, boom, there we go, the CV appears right in front of us and that's the end of the game. Poor map awareness from the CV who should have run away a long time ago but now is uh, actually going to be targeted by me and my fleet mate coming from B and we are playing support and playing as a team again and that will take us to the end of the game. And that is precisely why I've chosen this gameplay to highlight map awareness as a topic. Because not only did our team do uh, everything right, we uh, chose the right locations on the map to have our battles when they're together, uh, separated when needed, etc. But the enemy team did everything wrong. They uh, sent uh, one ship alone at sea, while their destroyer then decides to attack two cruisers on its own, while the battleships are going on the other side of the map. Uh, with no real purpose. So uh, so that's why I really like this gameplay and uh, it serves a really good showcase for map awareness. And I hope you've enjoyed it as well and that you learned a couple of interesting things. Um, I'm going just before I leave to remind you that the channel now has a Discord server and a Facebook page on which you can register to vote for the content you would like to see next. There are a couple of polls open with around 15 to 20 videos you can choose from and those will be featured on the channel in the coming weeks and months. So it's a really nice opportunity that you should um, be using. Um, <coughs> I'm going to be leaving you now with the final results screen, MVP and uh, Fortress, etc. So that was Death From Above, signing out, bye bye.